Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and today I'm going to be showing you how to design using twin beads. Uh, if you are new to our channel, make sure you're liking, subscribing, sharing, all of those different things, uh, of course, as usual, as we always say. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day. I hope you're a bit excited for some uh, working with twins and playing around. There's lots and lots of fantastic things we're going to be uh, sort of looking at today and um, I'm going to let you guys choose the the, the demonstration essentially. Uh, I thought it might be a bit of fun um, to, to, to sort of let you guys help me decide uh, what exactly it is you want to see. So essentially we're going to be working from the, uh, the, the entwined twin kit that we have uh, on sale at the minute on the Bead Spider website. Uh, it's on double discount so if you get just one kit it. Each kit can make, if you're uh, depending on the projects you purchase uh, are making, um, it can make up to 15 projects. The kit is 10% off, but uh, seeing as we have three colorways, if you decide that you want to get all three colorways, you get double discount. So essentially, 45 pieces of jewelry you could make, depending on which ones you make. Um, and that means you'll have plenty of things for people for Christmas and it'll be super inexpensive to, to make them all. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? So as I said, I'm going to get you all to sort of help me choose exactly what it is that you want to, uh, to see. We've got lots of people who've joined in already, as always, which is fantastic. Um, let's see, let's pop some comments up on the screen. Uh, we've got Rachel Bailey here. She says, hello from Barrow, Barrow in Furnace. Uh, we've got Doris here as usual. She says, good afternoon, Matthew, looking good. Thank you, I'm feeling well, which is nice as well. Uh, Nina is here. She says, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning to Nina. Uh, thanks for joining. Let's see, who else have we got here? Who's new? We've got Ruti. Ruti's a regular. She's she's watching quite often. Thanks for joining us, Ruti. Uh, she's over in Jerusalem. Lots and lots of people uh, from all over the world. Um, tell me where you are. I want to know who's in the uh, the most interesting, strange, and far, far away place. Um, you know, the, the, the bigger the distance, the more I want to know. Uh, so, yes, let's have a little look at the, I'll give you, I've got two little designs from this book. So the book itself, actually, let's have a look at the pictures. Um, where are they? Here we go. So let's take a little look at the pictures. So this is, oh, did it fade? No, there we go. So yes, this is one of the uh, necklace designs that we have. If you're interested, I can show you how to make the little pendant on this design just here, if you want to see that one. Uh, we do also have, oh great, this one shows quite a few. Um, in the bottom left corner there, ooh, there's someone beeping the horn outside. Uh, in the bottom left corner there, we also have another pendant, which could be an earring, which uh, hopefully there's another photograph. This is another one of the designs inside the book as well, which is absolutely gorgeous, I think. Um, there you go, there's another one of the pendants that you could make. Um, <coughs> there's that same Rivoli in action again. Um, oh yeah, each of the kits, I might as well tell you while we're here. This one is our autumn colorway. Uh, that one there, you've got three different colors of Preciosa twin beads, since we're designing with twins. You get two different colors of absolutely gorgeous crystal Rivoli's that you can see over on the right there. You've got uh, two different colors of size 10 beads. You've got a color of size eight beads. And you also get crystal drops, clasps, earrings, needle, thread, all of those included. Um, that's the autumn colorway. This one is the Arctic blue, I believe it's called. And then we've also got, I think it's the purple passion is the name. Um, those are those uh, just there. Plus again, there's that bracelet being worn. Um, there's the earring that I could make for you if you want to see. I'll show you the, the different options as well uh, on this mat in just a second. Uh, and there you go. There's another one of the necklace designs that you'll learn as well. So you do learn a lot, plus also all of the different straps and bands and things like that. They're all going to be included um, in that little kit in the instruction book. Um, so just as a quick little recap as well, let us just take a little look at what's already come this week. So on, f uh, it must have been Wednesday, yes. On Wednesday, Jermaine showed you how to do um, 
beaded lace netting, which uh, is a beautiful technique, and that made a really gorgeous necklace uh, on the stream. But also the kit, which is still on sale, uh, also makes that gorgeous bracelet. And then on Friday, ooh, one second, uh, Jermaine did our gorgeous wreath. Uh, so there you go. There's the the holly green there. There's the uh, the golden one, and then of course the the winter berry. That was what Jermaine showed you all just uh, just yesterday. So if you missed that one, that was what was on um, just yesterday. So be sure to to pop back and check out all of our videos. Um, if you are not already subscribed to our newsletter, because that's the best way to find out when we're going live and everything. Um, just click that little link up there in the description. Uh, if you're on Facebook, it'll be above. If you're on YouTube, it'll be down below. Um, and click the button that says uh, subscribe for more tutorials and so forth. Uh, more tutorials and free patterns and things like that. Um, the Bead Spider newsletter. You will also get a £5 voucher for trying out any of our patterns. So, for example, if you wanted to get our uh, entwined book. If I lean back a bit, maybe we can see it better. If you want to get the entwined book, which has a lot of goodies in there, it's eight pounds for the booklet just on its own. But uh, if you want to save yourself a fiver, then if you're new, subscribe to our little newsletter there and you can see uh, our patterns. They're very, very in depth. Everybody says they love our patterns. Um, you can get that for a fiver off if you want to, or if there's other patterns that you like there, again, you've got that fiver worth to, to save your, your pennies with, I suppose. So let's have a little look at the uh, bead mat here, and I'm going to ask you guys which colorway you want me to uh, show you. So uh, here we go. We've got our little bead mat here. Option one I've got for you is this, wait a minute, let's zoom in a bit. This gorgeous little earring slash pendant just here, you can do it either way. The good thing is the book sort of does show you how to do all of that. I can show you how to do this pendant uh, exactly as it is just here like this. Um, or I can teach you how to make this gorgeous little um, housing to a, a crystal rivoli. So we can learn how to capture the rivoli like this if you prefer. So everybody vote now. Do you want to know the either type earring or uh, pendant or, you know, whatever it is, we'll say earring or uh, crystal pendant. Type that into the comments right now and then we'll see whichever one wins out of those. Uh, so do that, and then we've got one other thing that we'll go through. So either pendant or com uh, or comment in saying um, what was the other word? Pendant or, or or earring. I'll just wait a few seconds, and I might read some of the comments that have been coming in. There are many, as always, which is good. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Oh, lots of people saying pendant. Oh, it's tough. It's going to be close. We'll have to have a look uh, and see what everybody... Oh, I just realized I'm just sort of showing you a big blue blank screen. How, how boring. Um, might as well put them in screen so you can see. Um, where are we now? Let's have a look at these comments. Uh, so, yes, we've got earring, earring, pendant, pendant, earring... The pendant earring earring. So on YouTube, currently the earring is winning by one, by two now. Um, pendant, 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 uh, pendant says pendant earrings, pendant. Facebook, Facebook wants the pendant, and it seems to be overwhelming majority on Facebook saying pendant, and then earring it seems to be slightly fewer say uh, seems to be the winner. So I guess. Um, if we if we go based off what everybody's voted, I think in the end it looks like we're going to be going with our little pendant just here. But um, now I've got another little Chris, uh, question for you. Uh, shall I do it in the copper color or the purple color? So I've got this little Rivoli here, or I've got this little Rivoli here. This is fun, isn't it? I quite like um, uh, I quite like sort of letting you guys vote. So the copper color, maybe I'll use this little twin here and these little seed beads just there. Maybe I'll do this colorway. Oops, didn't realize. There we go. So if you want the copper, that's what I'll make it out of is these little beads just here. And if you want the purple, maybe I'll make it with this twin 
and this seed bead. Purple or copper? Vote now, everyone. Let's vote again. Copper or purple? So I'm happy to do either one. Let's just zoom out a tiny touch so we can see. Um, and let's see. What are people saying? So far... <laughs> Doris has said purple, please, in extra large capitals. There, you can... Uh, you can oh, no, wrong one. Here we go. Wait, where's Doris has gone? There it is. She's gone purple, please, yelling it almost. Very excited for the purple. Um, let's see. We've got copper, purple, copper, copper. And then Francis is saying hello. Hello, Francis. Um, ooh, let's just pop that one away. I don't know why that one's popped up again. Um, copper, copper, purple, copper, purple, purple. Okay, so it looks like copper is our winner today. So these ones can just get put away. Let's just pick up my... Use my little sort tray to pick them up again because we don't need these ones any longer. Do you know, I'm surprised that uh, that copper ended up winning. Oh no, we've got people voting purple now. Oh, it's all shifting and changing. We're going to go copper. Copper's won. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's just pour these away. Um, sorry, I'm not showing you my face at the minute. For some reason, it's... All very a bit jerky. I don't know what's going on. I'll put myself in the corner, but for some reason, it's super duper jerky up there, but hopefully that won't be a problem for too long. Um, there we go. So, uh, let's put away these purple ones. Put away this Rivoli as well. And there we go. Pop these little fellas out the way. And then let's make it with the copper. So here they all are. Du, du, du. Put my seed beads over there. And right, so essentially, I'll show you some of the, the instructions that we're going to do on this little pendant in the in the copper there. Um, here we go. Oh, wait, how's this looking on the camera, actually? Let's see. Maybe the purple's going to show up better when I'm demonstrating. It does look like... Uh, <laughs> all right okay okay all right we're, we're gonna go back and we're gonna change and we'll do the copper just because i have a feeling it is gonna show up a bit better on the screen but doesn't matter you know same diff isn't it the good thing is if you're getting all three kits uh as part of the double discount you can mix and match them if you want to if you want to put some purple bits in and um you know other colors and things all sorts you can you can do that very very easily um you can you know you could almost mix some of the other beads that you've got there together and so forth. Anyway, uh, let's let's get started, shall we? So I'll go with these colours here uh, because it's a little bit darker. I Hopefully you can see my thread. I'm going to just use a neutral colour tone. Let's get these fellas out the way. Um, here we go. Just move these little triangles so they're not going to be bothering anyone. Uh, great. So, are we excited for today's tutorial? Let me know. Um, who's who's looking forward to it today? Uh, so, let's get going. Um, there we go. So, essentially, if I just get my little booklet here, I'll show you exactly how we start off. So, I'll just... Hopefully it will work just there. Usually it'd have my, my diagrams up in the corner up here, but I guess because we've uh, the, the tribe have spoken and we've all voted, uh, I'll show you the, the little diagrams on the book here. So essentially what we're going to do just here, first thing we need to do is cut about a meter of thread. That ought to be enough. Uh, that should be plenty. And then we need to do a total of 13 twins and 13 seed beads in that little ring. Uh, so, if I go one little seed bead, I don't need this for the minute, and I'll zoom in a touch. One little seed bead and one twin, just like that, just there. But I need 13 little sets. So let's just get them all together. One, there's another, two. So that's three sets now. Four... Five. Good thing I uh, graduated from primary school and I can do my counting while I'm uh, while I'm doing this. Six. I'll weave them onto my thread a bit more. Uh, so one seed bead. Seven. Eight. 
nine, ten. Come on, come on, let's go. Eleven, twelve sets, and one more set and I'll count them and check them just before I begin because that's always very important is to make sure that you check that they are all working properly. So let's just get these fellas out of the way for now so we can actually check I've got the right number of beads. There we go. And one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 little sets. So what I need to do now, essentially, is much like in my little diagram here, I need to weave them all into a circle. So I'm going to go through all of the beads one more time. Um, uh, let's see, Jermaine's just chatting to people? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I can't see the comments for some reason anymore. Ah, oh, great. They've just updated. There we go. Uh, so, um, Colin here, no, Al Alison Colin or Colin Allison, I'm not sure, uh, has said that the purple would be nice with the copper rivoli. That would be fun. Which, as I said, if you were getting uh, the two sets together, you could, uh, or all three sets, you could put that sort of rainbow pendant there in with with this set if you wanted to it's it's you know it's entirely up to you um Ruti asks what size is the rivoli so the rivoli is a 12 mil you get um four of those included in with your with your kit there um apologies for the jerkiness of the the screen up here i don't know what's going on with that one it just seems like today it's uh the computer's struggling it seems so I'll pull this down. We only need to leave a tail of about 10 centimeters to work with at the end. So I'll just slide my beads to about there. And then what we're going to do now is just weave all the way through all of these beads to make a nice little circle. So just, you know, as you go through, little by little, part by part, and let's just weave through all of the beads one more time and then that will help to lock them into a very firm ring of beads. You could just go through one or two, but I think this one, uh, these designs, the firmer you make them, especially with Rivoli's, the, oh, they're 14 mil Rivoli's, my bad. Uh, Jermaine's just informed me. Ruti asked, what size is the Rivoli? They are 14 mil, sorry. I uh, was thinking of our other, our Starburst necklace. So there you go. You can see I've got them all in a little ring. And now what I'm going to do just to really keep it firm, I'm going to tie these two ends together. I'll put it into right-handed view in just a minute for you all, by the way, um, just because I know it's quite popular to have it in right-handed view. Um, let's see. And let's put it into right-hand view. Is that going to work now? Yes, there we go. Now we're, now we're... No, no, we're not. We need to... Just pop that there. There we go. Now it's in right-handed view. So you can all uh, see it in right-handed view. And then, as I said, what I'm going to do now is just tie these two pieces of thread together with a little knot. So just left over right. You can do it as a surgeon's knot if you want to, to make it extra secure. But then that way, I find it ties this little ring very, very firmly and makes it nice and easy to start working with. So there we go. And there we go. Just like in my diagram just here. There it is. Oh, I'm going to have to flick back between. We'll see. Uh, so in my little diagram here, perfect little circle. But all we need to do now is weave up so that we're exiting from a twin bead and then through the top hole and out so that we're sort of stepping outwards, as it were, so that we can work on the outside. So as we can see, I'm uh, currently... There we go. Uh, I started with a seed bead, so it means I've got to continue around in this direction. So I'll go through this seed bead here, plus this first little twin. Let's zoom in, shall we? Because I know you guys like to be able to see it nice and clearly. Ooh, my, my bead mats come loose all of a sudden. Usually I've got it tied down, but it seems to have come loose. Doesn't matter. Hopefully it will stay in position. So there we go. There is, I'm coming out the bottom of this twin, and then all we have to do is to step up, you just weave through the top of that little twin right there. 
So see that? Perfect. Uh, so um, I guess that's an important thing that uh, Seema has just asked. Hopefully I can put them on a ticker at the bottom for materials. Anyway, I've got twin beads. I've got size 10 seed beads here. And then I've also got, uh, I'm going to be using a Rivoli as well. So size 10 Preciosa, you can use 11s, I guess, if you want to, hopefully it will fit and Super Duo is the same. Um, and then I've got a 14 mil Rivoli. Uh, and hopefully, where are you? No. Oh yes, here we go. Let's see if this, if this works. Is that going to come up? No. Oh well, doesn't matter. Didn't want to work for me. Don't know what's going on today. I'm having all the struggles. So, essentially, if we look at the next little diagram here, what we're going to do is fill each of these gaps with two little seed beads. So, two size tens, two size tens, all the way around our circle until we filled every single one of those little gaps. And that's going to help us sort of to create, if we look at the pendant just here, it's going to help us to create this little row just here on the outside. So there you go. You can see that second little row. So if I pick up two seed beads, what I need to do is go from this hole where it is just there and then um, just up and into the next twin bead around the corner. <laughs> Evelyn's just realized that uh, when I had the the text down, uh, oh, it's back into left-handed view now. So it is it is uh, showing it properly. But yeah, just before when I had it in right-handed mode, it was ooh, is it gonna is it working? No. There we go. See there now it does look like a different language, doesn't it? I won't. I, I'll make sure I keep it in left-handed view whenever I've got to show that. So anyway, I'm gonna just fill all these gaps now so that. Uh, we can make sure that we stay on track. So, two more seed beads. Pick that up and thread through here. By the way, if anyone's got any questions, just ask them with a big Q at the beginning. And hopefully, if I'm paying attention, I'll see the big fat Q and I can put your, your comment down the bottom so we can show everyone else. I mean, uh, you know, whatever whatever takes your, your fancy, ask away. I'm, I'm at your disposal for answering questions. So while I do that, I'm going to just fill all these little gaps so that we're completely, completely ready to continue on. So through the next one just here, get that out of the way. There we go. Pull that there. And where are we now? So which one am I using? Um, this one here. So let's just here. I think I might be able to show you. Here we go. So these are all the contents that you get inside of the kit. I'll just put them at the bottom there just for a second so that you can uh, see those. Uh, this is everything that comes inside one kit. So everything that's listed there along the bottom um, is included. Uh, inside of the kit. So like I said, you will make a lot of different projects from it. Um, we have said that you can make up to 15, but that is, you know, de very dependent on what you're going to be making. For example, if you want to have a, a go at making this gorgeous little design here, it does use quite a lot of twins. So um, obviously it means that you won't have quite as many twins for other projects a bit later on, will you? So that's the sort of thing. Um, We've got a question just here that's from, uh, it says, Jax Jennifer. So I assume it's Jennifer Jax. Uh, says, what size seed beads are these? So these are Preciosa size 10, the check sizing system. Um, actually, I've got a picture that I can show you, I think. Here we go. So here's the, the sizing comparison. So just here, you can see on the far left, that's a Preciosa size 10. On the far right, you've got a Mayuki size 11, which they're a little bit rounder and a fraction thinner from hole to hole. Not too different. Um, and then just beside that, between in the sort of um, cyan color, is the the Toho size 11. So you can see the the, the check size 10 and the 
Japanese size 11 are about the same. And then there in the red, if you haven't seen them before, those are our Aurora faceted micro crystals. So essentially they're seed beads that are ultra sparkly crystals. So they're quite nice, uh, but that should give you an idea. I'm using Preciosa size tens, uh, but yeah, you can see they're, they're pretty much about the same size as um, your Japanese size 11s, just a little bit different. Uh, all right, Jennifer is, so Jack's Jennifer is, Jennifer is the last name. Uh, my, my mistake, sorry. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for the, the, the question there. Um, so there we go. I'm pretty much just getting all the way around now and through. What I would recommend when you're doing these sorts of, oh wait, I just realized, uh, what am I doing here? Uh, I didn't even have the thing. So there we go. Um, I don't know how that happened. Um, so yes, if we have a little look just here, you can see that I've got all the way around my circle now and uh, I'm ready to continue on with the next step in the process. So what you can see here essentially is I'm going to weave around and through and I'm going to add a second set of size 10, like pairs of size 10 seed beads so that they sort of sit beside or on top um, of our other size 10s. So there's your little diagram there. We'll go skipping the size 10s that we've added. So from twin, add two, twin, add two, twin, add two. And that will add an extra row of size uh, 10 beads for us there. So you can, as I said, go through this ring um, one extra time just to firm it up if you want to. I do recommend it because the firmer you make your design, the better. But obviously, just to save time for everyone, uh, I will make, uh, I, 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 I'll just press on. And I know it won't be as tight, but I can always tighten it towards the end. So what I need to do now is just, as I said, make sure I'm exiting from one little twin bead like this. There we go. And then I'll pick up two more size tens and I'll skip over and go through the next one just there. So that now you can see sits fairly nicely on top of the other pair just there. Um, so now I'll pick up two more. So just before I continue, I'll show you. There it is. See, I've just pulled a little Lucy. You can see them. There's those two there. Pull it tight and it wants to sit nicely on top, which is exactly where we want it to be. Then we go through our next seed be uh, twin bead, sorry, here. So skipping the two seed beads through the next twin and then pull that nice and firmly. Rotate it around a little, pull it tight. And there we go. Um, I'll just put it back into right-handed mode. There we go. Just because I know you people out there definitely prefer it in right-handed. Uh, so there we go. So now uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm back over here now and here, coming out of this bead just here, we need to pick up two beads and then jump across the next little twin there and through that twin bead and pull that nice and tight. So as I go round, I'm just sort of rotating it little by little so that it's sort of where I want to be working. Go through there, through there, and then get my tail thread out the way through the next twin. You'll see this is going to come together quite quickly, um, you'll find. And I'll also show you as well how to maybe add on drop as well, because that's quite fun. We'll see how we'll see how we go for time. Uh, if we've got plenty of time, I, I, I might uh, add those in as well. So let's have a look here. Um, there we go. Through that next one just here. Come on now. Through you go. So through that next little twin bead. And then once again, pull that nice and tight and just trying to maneuver it so that it sits nicely on top of the next beads as well. So you can really see now, if I turn it sideways, we've got a whole row of beads sitting on top. So let's just keep going. We're getting there nicely, I think. Press through, press through, through the next twin. And pull it a little tight. Let's rotate a little further through these two beads. 
Um, there we go, pull that nice and tight as well. Pick up two more. And let's see now. Um, through the next little twin, just here. Wait a second, come on now. Through that little twin, come on now. There we go. Through there, pull that nice and tight. Pick up two more. <clears throat> and I'm getting there, I'm getting there nice and quickly. Oops. So through the next one as well. There we go. Two more. We're almost there. We're almost there, everyone. Um through these next two. Do you know what? I've got a lovely hot cup of tea that's going cold. I might have a nice sip of that. Ooh. Uh, see how one just went underneath? It's always good to try and keep them so that they're all on top because when we come to weaving through, it's much easier if they're all sitting on top the same side of your your little circle that we've made here because that will, you'll see soon, will make the whole process work much easier. So through the next twin there, Come on now, there we go. Just the twin, not any seed beads. Um, continue on. And are we almost back now? No, one more, yes, one last one. So we do the last final one and skip over. And if we take a quick look at our diagram, where we're at now, just pull that nice and firm. It's always good to, to pull nice and tight. And what we need to do now is make sure that we're exiting. Oh, it's in right hand of you. Don't worry about it. I'll hide the text so it doesn't get looking too weird. Uh, so yes, what we need to do is make sure that we're exiting from the first pair of little seed beads that we that we started with at the beginning of this little step here. So that is, if we have a little look, these two beads just, come on now, get focus. Hopefully we can see that nicely. So with my thread coming out just here, it's these, come on now, they're gonna focus. Focus, come on, there we go. Through these two little beads, just here. So that's uh, where I need to move. So looking like I've got it on the top there, we'll go through these two. Here we go. Now we can really see what's going on, can't we? Through these two beads at the top, like so, and then pull that nice and tight. There we go. And now that I've got that nice and tight. What we're going to start do is move on to our next step, which here we go. Perfect. You can see I need to add another twin bead into each of those little gaps. See that? So a twin bead between the two seeds that I've just added. So the outer ring that is going to add on my little um, seed beads and twins there. So getting a new little load of twins prepped and ready just here. I will pick one up and then skipping this little twin here, I'll go through the next pair of size tens that I've added. Again, you can see it's the same side. So always the ones that are on the top, just get that. It doesn't matter if it's sticking outwards or inwards really. Um, it'll firm up a bit in a minute then pick up another twin and then we jump across, skip this twin bead here and go through the next two seed beads again. Um, Colin says, wait, if it's going to work, come on now. Ugh, the computer's running so slowly today. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. Colin says, love your design, Matt, uh, from Vicky. There we go. Uh, so that 
Um, wait a minute. This actually, I won't take credit for. This was uh, Jermaine's design. She wanted to figure out a really, really attractive way of capturing Rivoli using twin beads, just because the twin beads look so effective. Um, as you can see in this design, they look amazing. Um, so Jermaine really wanted to sit down and have a think of a fantastic way of locking that Rivoli in, but to also sort of get the, the visual effect from the twin bead. So this one is Jermaine's design. I won't, uh, I won't um, claim it myself. It's, it's entirely all mother's design this one uh but yeah it's a it is a fantastic little capture uh design for the rivoli funnily enough you can see all my little rivolis are sticking upwards that's uh sorry rivolis my uh twins are all sticking up but yeah this is jermaine's design um so uh purple pennies just joined uh she was she's always on she did say you know that she'd be back today uh thanks for joining uh, i'm glad you could i'm glad you could join us uh, so let's just continue on through the next couple of beads through here. Whoops. So there we go. And make our way around little by little. Pull that nice and tight. And just keep going around. It's, you know, it's, it's, this the nice, the nice thing about jewelry making. I find it's all very therapeutic and and uh, and enjoyable because you can almost just sit there and you don't even have to think about it too much and you know it's uh, it's just a, a pleasant pleasant experience. It's almost therapeutic just sitting here or I could even have like a, a movie on. That's how Mum likes to do her beading. She loves having a, a movie on, which is what we did last night. We were making some jewellery last night. You'll uh, hopefully you'll get to see some of those things coming up soon. Not quite ready yet, but uh, in design things that are coming up soon. So you will see them. Uh, but yeah, we were watching um, the last action hero on with Arnold Schwarzenegger on TV last night. So that was that was a bit of fun while we were doing beading. Um, because I, I hadn't seen that movie since I was a young kid, uh, but you know, it was on TV. So we thought, why not? Eh? Uh, let's watch a, a funny old Arnold Schwarzenegger film, um, while we were, while we were doing our beading. Um, here we go. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, and one last twin bead to add and through that one just there there we go oh we've just had a comment in from evelyn um why is my computer running so slowly good grief today it's so slow uh here we go evelyn says uh you keep going live on weekdays just when i want to do the school run so i miss you well the good news evelyn uh is that um even if you you miss us one time uh you can always watch us again on demand later whenever you're ready um, via the exact same um, process, I guess, because if you receive our emails, we send a link that shows you uh, that... Uh, wait a minute, where am I? Um, no, that's the wrong one. This is the diagram we need to look at. Uh, yeah, so you can also... Uh, you can also just watch it on demand because the email, the link where it takes you to is a page on the Bead Spider website so that you can see exactly uh, when and where and everything that's going on. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our to our newsletter with the link in the description, just because then uh, even if you can't watch the show on time when we're doing it, you can always watch it on demand later. So now what I need to do is pop my little Rivoli in here and then... Um, I can do my little ring of of seed beads there to lock that Rivoli in place. So here we go. Just pop that here. And what we have to do is, oh, first things first, I guess, from the previous step is we need to make sure that we step out again so that we go through the twin and then outwards so that we're in position to sort of add these beads. So if we have a look where I am right now, I'm at the bottom of this little twin bead. Just to be sure, I'll go through a couple of more beads around the ring just to help tighten it a little. Again, as I said, if you do the whole row of beads once more, you'll probably get the 
uh, tension much, much firmer, which potentially I'll be able to show you the difference on Jermaine's one because she has gone through it uh, plenty to make it nice and firm. And then you might see the difference on this one. If it's not quite as firm, you'll soon see uh, the difference that going through the row one extra time will make. So uh, it would have been fun, but I'm not going to do it. The uh, I could have put... Well, actually, let's turn it over to see how it would have looked. Uh, my little ring just there. That's how that could have looked, I suppose, if I'd... Um, if I if I wanted to buy the 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 the, the copper colorway and the purple one together, or if you got the double discount on all three sets, you could do this. Uh, but that's with the 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 Rivoli that comes with the copper color. Um, but the one I have today, which is part of oh, I'll show you the other one that comes with the copper, which is this gorgeous one here. Uh, that one's also part of the copper set. Um, but yeah, the Rivoli I'm going to use, which I love it actually, is from the purple just here. Um, just there so it's got a really deep purple sort of coating but it's on like an ambery colored glass so it gives you this gorgeous color tone through it through there um so gail has asked what size are the seed beads they are preciosa size tens and i'm using a 14 millimeter rivoli um so now that i'm at the bottom here as i said i need to just step up so go through that little twin bead so that i'm on the outer ring and ready to continue so let's just i'll pop it this way because it'll be slightly more aesthetic for you viewing the uh the video while i'm going through and what i need to do now is just one by one by one fill the gap with just one seed bead so obviously here we go i'll just go round one seed bead and into this gap it doesn't matter if my Rivoli is a little bit loose. I can I can always put it in a bit later, but you'll sort of get the idea of of it in a second. I probably should have done it tighter, really, but doesn't matter. I'm almost regretting not going through an extra time, but I can do it at the end, which is always good. Um, there we go. So I'll add one. I'll pop it in in a second. Add one. And then pick up one more and go through the next bead. Uh, Doris says it looks like it's on fire on the inside. Uh, she's talking about the, the, the purple Rivoli here. It looks like it's on fire on the inside. You're right. Well, the great, the best part is that you really see that when it's moving. And unlike um, things that you might put on the wall, because you're wearing jewellery, it's never really stagnant. So it's always sort of catching the light in different ways and moving around and all sorts of things and looking super effective. So um, you do get that effect happening while you're wearing it. They That sort of looking like it's on fire that Doris has just mentioned, which uh, let's... Ooh, no, wrong one. Come on now. Is it going to show? Oh, my goodness, my computer's running so slowly today. Yeah, there we go. See, Doris says you can even see how slowly that loaded. Uh, Doris says it looks like it's on fire on the inside, which... What do you think? Do you think it looks like it's on fire on the inside, everybody else? I think it might be. I think that's a, a great observation there from, from Doris. Um, come on now. Is it going to hide? Is it ever going to disappear? Yes, good. Right, one more seed bead. And through the next bead. Pull that tight. And you can see this is sort of closing, whoops, closing over my little piece. So I'll pop my Rivoli in soon because you don't have to put it in so early because then it kind of just gets in the way. Once you're about two thirds, three quarters of the way through, you can just pop it in. Should fit just fine. And then it will be starting to get locked in place. So I'll do it very soon. One more here. Through there. Oh, I think it's just started raining. I can hear it raining outside. It's miserable weather today, I tell you. Um, I was I was hoping it would be a, a lovely, glorious day today so that, you know, we could, we could all enjoy a bit of sunshine while we do some beading. But it just wasn't to be here in the UK, at least. It is miserable. So I guess maybe that's keeping you inside with me instead. So maybe that's better after all. Who knows? Um, yes, let's continue on. Uh, uh, let's see. Pop through the next bead. Here we go. And now I might just, as I'm close, I haven't got it very tight yet, which I will, 
but I'll pop in my Rivoli first. Oops, pop that in there. And then through that last little bead and pull that tight. And that should close it down nicely. What, have I made a mistake here? I don't think I, I didn't think I made a mistake, but maybe I have. Did I do one too many? One, two, wait, let's just count Jermaine's. Well, I made mine too big. This is gonna be funny if I've, if I've made a big fat boo-boo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, no. Right, so let's just, I need to clearly, I needed to, you can see how loose this is just because I haven't been nearly as tight with my, my beadwork. Isn't that interesting, the difference it makes? So obviously I'll have to just weave all the way through, pulling it tight. Here I was thinking I could just be nice and lazy. It'll all come together in a second. Let's just spend some time tightening it up then, shall we? I'll just run through all real quick. You can see it goes through pretty quickly like this. And then pull, pull, pull all the way through. Wee, wee, wee all the way home. Get it nice and tight. And you can see it's already starting to lock in much, much tighter especially on these outer rings. I need to, I'm gonna to have to go through all of it, I think, just so that you can see uh, the progress of how much tighter it gets. So like I said, it's definitely worthwhile tightening this all the way through and running through the whole thing again and again, just to get everything super tight uh, so that it's all nicely locked in place. Um, so let's just continue weaving around. But you can see the weaving through process is quite quick, especially once you've got it all together. You can go through multiple beads at once. So let's just go through these ones as well. Oops, my Rivoli's popped out. That's how loose it is even. I'll definitely have to go through it again. There we go. Pull that a bit tighter. Keep going, a few more. I'm almost there. There we go. Pull that. There we go, nice and tight. And now what I'll do, I'm gonna go down into my next row below. And start tightening my edges just to pull it all in, because yes, it is very, very loose. I can see it's all super duper loose. So now to just weave back down, I can go through and step down back into the middle here. Pull that. And you'll soon start to see it's all going to start firming up very, very quickly. I think this is going to make all the difference. This row here is the one you've definitely got to get through. So we're going to just very quickly run through all of these. Oh, I want it to be so quick and lazy, but no. The beads told me do it properly. So I've been punished. Punished by the beads, but that's okay. It's all coming together very, very tightly now. Uh, but you can see it's not a long process. Um, I can also use the tail thread to go through the bottom again to make that more tight if I don't want to, as Jermaine has just suggested. But it's definitely starting to come together much, much firmer now. There we go. Come on. Yeah, you can even see the twins. Oh, whoops, sorry. The twins aren't quite aligned with their um, respective size tens, so that's what's causing that issue, I think. Let's pull that nice and tight now, and that's going to get that in line. There we go. So through there. Just keep going around. Oop, pull it all through. Need to get my piece pulled through properly. I've created a little knot even now. Should just come out. Yep, there we go. Pull, pull, pull. Keep going around. Round and round we go where we stop. Well, I think I do know. But, okay, that's probably going to do enough for this ring. And then I'll do the one after as well. Um, hi from Lisa Walker and Liz in Lancashire. Um, they've just dropped in. Um, whoops. Ugh. Here we go. Uh, just... Yeah, they've just dropped in and said hello. So welcome to uh, Lisa and Liz Walker, um, who've just joined in. So through the next one. And
and then I might just step through and now we'll start going back in the opposite direction because that's kind of how we work through this bead path into the row below do a nice tight ring of beads oops sorry I just realized I was out of shot on the next row down and let's continue along around and around but yeah there we go Jan says it's really good to see what happens when you don't get it tight enough to start with so thanks for that well I guess my uh my being lazy has paid off in the end because there you go you've seen that uh, you've got to make sure it's nice and tight uh, but yeah it's coming together it's starting to get nice and firm now which um, you'll see that in just a second and especially once I go through that bottom ring once more it should fit really nicely I would think come on now There we go. And through the next ones. I could even be tying knots, you know. This would be a good time to tie some knots. Because then that would really get things tight, wouldn't it? A bit more. Through that twin bead. And just keep going around, round and round and round. Do you know, I think even though it looked really loose, it's definitely quicker and easier to get all the way around when you have to do it again at the end rather than sort of doing it all at the beginning. Uh, it, it's like usually, because I, did I, did, I didn't show you it, I did also this uh, demo piece just last night, which is another one of the the designs that you that you learn in this in this little booklet which is a fun pendant we're using similar colors slightly different colors I guess to um, the ones I'm using right now but you can see on this one as well I, I spent the whole time making sure I went through it the entire way um, to, to make sure it was super duper tight which it is and it looks great but uh, it did take quite a bit of time because I did it at the beginning where now that I'm doing it like late it's almost another good tip to know is that even though it's going to be loose loose as a goose uh, at the end it is much much quicker to weave it all through at the very end so now let's just I'll go through the next couple of beads and then we'll progress on to our tiniest middle hole there and hopefully that should get us nice and tight come on now and pull that nice and tight too and through that twin just here just the twin because then the twin is where I can step down from isn't it don't go through that seed bead there there we go and now step down and into this bottom ring yeah I can see how loose this bottom ring is already it is floppy 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 just got caught on some sticky tape. How funny. Uh, and continue round. All the way. Getting it nice and firm. On this little underside here. Much better. Come on. Where's that bead? There we go. There we go. Keep going through. Oops, sorry, just realized I'm out of shot there, not paying attention. Too busy trying to get through these little holes. There we go. And through here. Nice. It's coming together well. And I was going so quickly as well. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to have time to even go and sit and watch the Formula One. But nope. It was not to be.
and if we have a little look there we go that's sitting I mean I could have done it even tighter really I probably should have done this this row just here is the loosest I need to go through that one even further I didn't get all the way around it but then you can see it's really starting to this is nice and firm uh, I just want to get on with it and but no it's just keep on wanting to be tightened but yeah you get the gist once it's you can see it's a, a lot tighter now than it was before uh, I keep wanting to just keep going but no the thing keeps saying make me tighter make me tighter all right all right <laughs> this is what you get for being a lazy a lazy so-and-so like me today but oh well here we go let's pull that nice and tightly there we go there we go you can see it's it's getting much much firmer now so there if I'd done the bottom row a bit more it would have gone even firmer but you can see it does get really really nice and firm as you continue it's just very important to have go through it multiple times to get that super duper tight little finish so that it sits beautifully like I have with this one here um, but yeah they say Matt oh yes Jermaine's just said haste makes waste she's exactly right um, but yeah so uh, you can see eventually as you pull it tight it does come in tighter and tighter and tighter until eventually it is looking much much better uh, than 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 it was when I when I first finished I suppose in inverted commas finished uh, but yeah so that will sort of show you how to make that little rivoli and if you like I'll show you as well how and I'm gonna just continue tightening this while I tell you about it I'll show you some diagrams as well um, I would also show you what is another um, good way of oh no missing a bead there don't go through them all um, where is my needle uh, yeah yeah I'll show you how to attach so that you can sort of make that little necklace piece as well so how to turn it into a pendant if you want I'll show you how to add a drop on why not it's uh, it's only early we've only taken an hour so I'll spend a little bit of time and show you how we can really um, spruce this up to to look fantastic and make it ready for wearing as a as a necklace or you could do it as a bracelet if you prefer we've uh we we i had a photo i showed just before which was of the the bracelet version um but yeah the 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 points where you can attach to uh, i'll just show you i've got the the little diagram just here um linda asks are we able to download the pattern so yes linda you certainly can if you don't want to get the whole kit because this comes as a kit uh but otherwise as i said i've got let's zoom out here my pattern booklet which is the entwined wait a minute let's put it back into left-handed view so that it actually can be read our entwined twin bead designs booklet has a lot inside so if i go through very very quickly we've got this is the piece that i've just made just now uh, and then i'll show you how to add on this little drop if we want to which i will um there's also the the star rivoli pendant as well that i showed you there's the there's three different necklace designs as well so this is just a few designs you can get really creative and try different things out and if you want to you can even just make a nice little bracelet just out of the 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 band so like for example this one i mean obviously i've got it connected to the pendant but you could just make a really nice cute little bracelet single bracelet just like that if you wanted to um with with these little designs as well um you learn how to add on your clasps you also learn how to do those gorgeous oval earrings which this is one of those just here that's in the book as well plus there's also the gorgeous twin bracelet which is this one just here but the instructions also show you how to do it with two colors as well so if you wanted to do it in multiple colors all of that is included in this one just here um, so that you can get um, that little 
booklet it is on our website there is a design just uh, a, what was i saying there's uh yeah there's a link up in the description that will take you to where you can see all of today's products you can get the kit discounted which like i said there are three different colorways that you can purchase if you fancy they're all 10 percent off they all make up to 15 projects depending on what ones you make obviously um, but like i said the um the pattern is available also on that same page if you just want to get the pattern but obviously the biggest savings are when you buy all three kits which is going to be perfect for making lots and lots of different things for christmas that way you get 20 percent off of that design um, so I've done a bit more tightening. Let's uh, let's add on our little pendant piece, shall we? Um, the the little crystal drop. I haven't added the drop to this one, but as per the photograph, which is where are we? Saturday. Um, whoops. Um, let's have a look. Here we go. So this little drop at the bottom, just here. See that drop? I'm going to show you how to add that little drop on and then I'll show you how to start off how to do your, your little necklace piece as well. Um, I'm not going to do the whole necklace because we'd be here for quite some time. But yeah, once you've got that um, little... Once I've got it in position, I'll just show you we will start adding our little pendant piece into our design as well. Oh, I bring, bring myself back. I need to do that. So... Um, let's just have a look at the little diagram. Uh, where are we now? Here we go. So what I need to do is make sure I'm coming out. If I bring it nice and close, hopefully we'll see. Just here, you need to make sure that you're coming out from two of the seed beads at the end of your, your little row there. So there's those two seed beads. We need to be coming out of there. So after... Just weave through a couple more and then get myself nicely into position. Let's zoom in again, shall we? Nice and tight so we can see what's going on. Go through the twin here. There we go, through that twin. And then also, so like I said, we need to make sure we're exiting after two size 10 there we go, now it's in focus. Two size 10 seed beads. So go through those two size 10s. And essentially, what we're going to do to add our little drop in is to pick up two little seed beads. So you can sort of alternate this drop however you want. Whatever takes your fancy. I'll pick up three seed beads just here. Then we're going to go through one of my aurora crystals which is these gorgeous little beads that look like bubbles i absolutely love them they look fantastic the one of these so i'll go through that as well i'll go through a couple of more seed beads add on a little drop bead so like i said you can alter this design however you want i want my crystal drop to sort of be in that droppy shape so i'll start through the top because this is going to hang, gravity's going to hang this downwards. So we want the drop to be at the bottom there. Oh, I just lost my needle. One second. Let's just thread that fella back in. I tell you, I'm so glad I used spider one just because it's so much easier to re-thread needles. It just takes half a second. And then lastly, we get one more little seed bead here. And we're going to go back down all of these beads until we've gone through all of them except these two. We don't go through these two. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go down through this one little bead here, through those two size 10s, through the size, uh, the, the, the 6 mil Aurora bead, and then down again. But not through those final two beads just yet. So just pop that in screen, hold this nice and tight, get it nice and firm where we want it, and then pressing my fingers on it, we'll just pull, pull, pull all the way down until we're in position. We'll pick up two more beads. And then I'm going to go through, oh, I just realized we're on the wrong side, these same two seed beads from the exact same side again. So through those two same seed beads, 
So for example, this should hopefully make it a bit more visually what's going to happen. So there's through there, through those two same beads, pull that tight, and then there you go. We've added in, in just a few seconds, a nice little drop that when we're wearing it, will just hang down and look really, really lovely. Uh, and just sort of sit there nicely so that we don't have to just to sort of give it that nice extra little effect just there of another little drop. Um, so again, uh, you can, if you want, you can do it from the back side, you can do it from the front side, whatever you prefer, um, you can you can do that very, very easily and it will just sit really nicely. And then once we've added our little twin bead, um, like a, uh, sorry, our little drop bead there, we can also continue round um, and then we just weave off our threads, tying knots in so that we're pretty much done and in position. And then I'll show you how to add on your little necklace start pieces because that's quite a simple little process. And I'll just show that to you as well. So through that next little bead there. And like I said, yeah, just tie the occasional knot as you're working and that will just sort of help to firm that off so that you can tie that off um, and, and start working. So now that we've got this in position, I'm going to show you how we add our little necklace piece. So what we're going to do, just ignore these two threads, pretend I finished them off, I cut them off and I've, and I've dealt with them. Obviously I haven't, but we'll pretend. And what I need to do, there we go, you can see now that I've tightened it, it's sitting much, much, much better, isn't it? Um, now all I need to do is get myself a nice little thread. We'll say, because I'm going to work with two needles, I'm going to start connecting. I'll show you, in fact, the diagram, wherever it may be, that shows you how to connect this particular Rivoli to... Where's the page? It's hiding from me. No? Where are you? Am I missing a page? Maybe I am. Oh no, here it is. So, if we have a look. So I've added on my little drop there. There it is. So what we're going to do is from those two seed beads that are, if we have a look, there's the middle at the top, one and two on either side. So I need to have a thread that's coming out here and a thread that's coming out here. Obviously I'm only going to do one at a time. And what I'm going to do... Oh. Jermaine's told me I need to tell everyone about the fridge magnet and, and Doris is like, what's that all about? So essentially, what happened today, mum was working with her little beading needle and she dropped, the needle came off and it fell on the floor and she was like, oh no, quick, there's a needle on the floor. What are we going to do? Um, you know, I don't want anyone to step on it. Quick, no one's got shoes on. Don't, don't do that. Um, uh, don't, don't step on it, anyone. Be careful. So I ran into the fridge and I got a little magnet, a fridge magnet that just goes snap on. And what I did almost was like a little mine sweeper. Got my little magnet and sort of just went wee, 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 all around and where I couldn't see under the table. And then all of a sudden, pop, it snapped on and I didn't even have to look. And we found the needle really, really easily. So if ever you drop a needle on the carpet and you can't find it, go and get a fridge magnet because it will pick up your magnet, uh, your needles for you because they're they're also going to be magnetic. So, um, as I said, um, I'm going to cut myself a length of thread. You'd probably want to use somewhere in the region of about a meter and a half worth of thread, maybe something in that vicinity. And then what we're going to do is thread on a needle to both ends. So here's one little needle. Pick that up. And... On the other side, just get my other needle. Here's a second needle. And we just thread that onto the other side. Um, oh, Jan says she's got something, a, a, a machine for that. She said it's an extendable thingy. I'll, I, I want to put it up on the screen. So I'm just waiting for her comment to come through. But she's got an extendable thingy that uh, has a light and a magnet on the end just for that uh, exact task. Uh, so whenever she drops her, her needles, her thingy, uh, little whatever it must be, uh, is what she uses for, for picking them up. 
Um, so there we go. So I've got my thread with a needle on each end. And like I said, once we looked at our little diagram, zoom in here, I'll do it on the front, obviously. And what we need to do, we've got, I mean, you can do it on the front, you can do it on the back. You can do whichever you prefer. Maybe I'll do it on the back just for something different uh, because then the, the little piece will sort of sit out a bit, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, so yeah, we've got like our diagram, one, two, three, these three little ones at the top. So what I need to do is take a thread through here and take a thread through there. So I'll only work one at a time. So let's go through this one here. And if I can get my needle through it. Come on now. Yeah, little needle, needle, needle. Just doesn't want to be my friend today, this needle. There we go. So I'll take one needle through. Only one needle needs to go through it. And then I'll pick up both needles together and pull, pull, pull until I've got essentially the middle of my needle. Just there. Oh, did I go through the right spot? No, I didn't even go through the right one. What am I even doing? So we can see I've gone through one too few. So I needed to have gone through this one. Oh my goodness, what is going on with me today? Uh, I'll take one needle off, pull it through, go through the correct beads this time. I mean, if you wanted to do a bracelet, you can go these one and these ones, but because I want to do my necklace, show you how it works at least having a nightmare of a day and I'm gonna go through the correct beads this time there we go through the correct beads now and I'll thread my needle back on I forgot to have my tea I'm getting all dry oh apparently uh, Jan's gonna send us a picture of her thingy uh, that's a, the comments over on YouTube uh, because, obviously, we want you to be sending in your pictures, which, uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, if you want to be on the show, like Jan is about to be, uh, she's. you just send us your pictures of what you've been making, what you've been doing. It doesn't even have to have been a design by us. It doesn't have to be with our beads. It doesn't even have to be about beads. It can be, um, you know, your pets, your dog, your cat, um... I don't know, having a barbecue, doing whatever it is that you want to do, you can send us a picture and we'll show them. So um, Jan Jan Alston, who's got that thing for picking up needles, said she's going to send us a picture of her thingy. Uh, so thanks, Jan. Uh, but yeah, if you want to add your pictures in and be on the show, send them. Send them in because hopefully I will um, be able to show that off. I just realized I'm not even up in the corner. I wonder if my face cam working any better yet nope it is not working at all today i don't know what's going on with it it's just having a nightmare um but yeah i'll, I'll show some pictures in a minute shall i once i've done this little necklace strap so let's have a look at a couple of the different ones zoom out shall we so here are a couple of the different options that you can do maybe i haven't used the auroras too much so maybe I'll do one with, with Aurora beads, shall I? So essentially, I'll just copy this little design here, which it does tell me each one, design A, which is this one here. You just follow the instructions here for design A. So it will tell you how to make each one of these. So let's let's go with design A, shall we? Why not? I think that's a, a nice one. I've already done one in design C, which looks like this. So I might as well do one in design A. So uh, with... Design a selected. I've got my thread. It says, you know, two meters or something if you want to do that, whatever it is, um, to do your full necklace. And essentially where we will begin is by picking up on both sides uh, three little beads. Oh, great. Uh, I've just realized I didn't have any auroras and Jermaine is paying more attention than I am that I didn't have any beads. She just brought me, here we go, this is what the beads look like. There's a strand of the, the six mil auroras which you get included in your kit. Uh, it is in there as well. So I'll just thread a few of those off so that I can make my little necklace strap look nice. So there we go. There we go, get myself a few of those little bubble style looking beads. Uh, from my strand and let's make our strap shall we so again you can turn this strap into a bracelet in its own right with no pendant or you could attach it to the sides whatever it is you want to do um so with my little bead 
coming out there. Just get it in position, shall we? Here we go. And what I'll do is pick up three little beads on each needle. One, two, and three beads. And I'll slide them down to my little pendant there. Oh, I think I might be a bit too zoomed. It might want to keep finding focus if I do that. So there we go. And now what I'll do, just to sort of lock those into place, I'll take a twin bead, and I'm going to go through this twin in opposite directions. So this needle is going to go this way. So I'll pull that through. Pull the thread all the way. Don't get too tangled. Pull the thread all the way through. Try and make sure we can see it. So like that. And then I'll take my other needle in the opposite direction, so through the same bead, but back the way that we just came, essentially creating what's called a right angle weave. And then, then as I pull it, it's all a bit twisted, just untwist that, hopefully, there we go. Oops. And then you can see, I should have cut those threads off again, I was being lazy and I'm regretting it. Naughty, naughty. Um, Get my threads out of the way. There we go. And now when I pull that nice and tight, you can see that's going to create the beginning of this first little loop just here. So what I'll do now is pick up two beads with the left needle, and I'll go through the top hole from one direction, not the band. Um, there we go. It doesn't matter if it's all a bit loose just now. It'll get tighter in a second especially once I start adding more and more beads. And now I'll go through the top hole again, but in the opposite direction. So again, we're going to lock that in place. Pull that nice and tight there. Get it firm. Don't worry if these are sitting a bit skew if. At the end, you weave all the way back down to get them nice and straight so that they'll look really straight, just like this. See that? So that's what you would do at the end. You take your needle all the way back down through the edges to get it super duper straight. Now I'll pick up, let's say one, two, three, four. I'm free forming it here. Um, let's go with seven. I think seven will give us a nice amount. And then we're gonna do the same again where we cross through this bead here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads. And then again, we're going in the opposite direction through this bead here. Pull that tight. I really like the color of these seed beads. There we go. Into that little piece there. Which as you pull that tight, see everything locks in place a little bit. And now I'll pick up seven more, shall I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now slide it down a little. Go through a twin. Again, weaving through one way. Pull that all the way through. Try not to get it caught with my other thread, which it seems to have. Take it back through there. Oops. Don't get caught, my little friend. There we go. So take that. Get this out of the way. Here we go. There's my other thread. Now it's out of the way. So pull that tight there. Pull this one all the way down so that it's sitting like this. Pick up seven more with the correct needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then through the bottom, same bead, opposite direction though. Pull it tight. Get my roars out of the way. And then as we pull that tight, again that creates a nice little looping section, which if you prefer it not to be loopy, when you come back down and thread through it all, you can add a bead into this little gap just here if you want to. One there and one there, just sort of to fill the hole and make it a little bit straighter again as you're continuing. But yeah, now and then you just repeat the process again. So two little beads and through this twin, 
through the top hole in one side pull it tight again in a second doesn't matter if it's loose at the minute we'll get tight again in a sec oh come on back into focus there we go and then one two beads and through the same hole in the opposite direction don't go through the the seed bead though pull it tight and then as you'll see we're going to just continue like that adding on our little strap like that there so you see that when we go to wear it get my threads all out of the way and everything there's my lovely little rivoli there and my drop get these beads out of the way and then there you go that will sort of continue onwards and upwards onwards and upwards all the way until you've done the entirety of your strap so once you get to the very very end you add one little bead on the very very end like this and a loop on the other so that they will just fit ever so nicely one over the top of the other and that's going to work like a little toggle on your other piece just there so there you go that's going to essentially be how you make the entirety of your finished little piece just there which i don't know what's going on today but for some reason the computer's running so slowly um but yeah that will make your gorgeous little finished necklace piece once you've done the same side on the opposite side there as well so yeah like i said you can also try different straps if you want to attach your straps at sides opposing each other you'll be able to make like a bracelet uh, on your little wrist just there um, if you want to try it out you can also even uh, in a necklace join your your little pieces together make a a triangle piece there so one two three if you wanted to make a cluster sort of join them with just like a, a little bit of beading uh, to do something like that if you want to um, I don't know you could even sort of adapt it to have like your your main drop here plus one of these little pieces which I've got uh, which this one's an earring which I think I have a nice photograph on Maxine that I can show you which yeah let's let's have a look at all the different designs that you can do so there's that pendant and that's very similar to the strap that I'm doing just now and you just sort of continue along like that um, and so forth um, there's quite a few of the different designs those are the old colorways so ignore those the greens and old colorway and the pinks and old colorway we've got new colors now which uh, there's the little bracelet um, that we've got as well which is in the, the sort of coppery color there's that blue pendant that looks absolutely gorgeous see like I said you can do it as an earring or you can do it as a pendant with a drop um, there it is in bracelet form just there so you can do it as a bracelet if you prefer as well uh, just there um, and then yeah these this is everything that you get so you've got your aurora beads in the top left corner You've got your twins there, so those that copper mix of twins in the left side. At the bottom, you've also got some twins there. At the top, there's a really cool gold, sort of antique gold color. Um, you've got size 10 seed beads in the middle at the bottom, and then also that darker color there as well um, included, which is that sort of greeny, um, greeny iris color, which is... I show it to you hopefully the image this will show you better what it looks like so there's that greeny color in the bottom and then you also get some of your size eights in a sort of coffee color which is quite nice it all comes together and then of course you've got the rivalies uh that's the copper colorway um plus oh, it's gone back to the beginning uh plus there's the blue one there so you can see that's all your arctic blue sort of wintry tones we went for winter tones now um uh, Jan asks, is there a crystal that would go inside the oval pendant? There probably is. You could probably work something out that would go in there nicely. But because I've done it oval, I guess you'd kind of need like an oval drop. We might have something actually on our website. One of our oval pendants might fit in there really nicely actually. Um, this is the purple colorway that I've been just working with now. And then there we go. There's that bracelet that's being worn uh, there. There's the earring on uh, Maxine. That's Maxine's face there. And then there's that star necklace that I showed you again on her. 
um but yeah it looks looks really really nice but yeah so that well I'll, I'll bring it back to my face but uh i'll just warn you now it is horrendously jerky so i don't know what's going on today hopefully hopefully it's not too bad yeah it's a bit jerky oh well um but yeah let's have a little look at the at the sorts of pictures that people have been sending in um let's see i've just got to find them so like i said if you want to get featured on the show we'll do this on saturdays um when when we've got shows on saturdays that will show off everybody's pictures that they've sent in uh which now i just need to put them on the screen for you but yeah you can be on the show as well so send us your pictures live at beadspider.co.uk um and you can be on the show as well so where are we now what's today's date it's the 14th of november so how many pictures have we got oh we got lots we got lots of pictures great let's put those up on the screen uh oh i think i might have even just missed a couple have i add some files here wait a minute cancel that come on computer stop being so slow um i know i've got that thing on the screen sorry i'll oh my goodness what is going on um let's just put my face back on while i'm working so you're not just looking at uh, at that same screen but yeah send your pictures to live at beatspider.co.uk i don't know why but all of a sudden it seems like the camera's decided to behave which is good news uh let's just make sure i've got all the pictures here because i don't want to miss out on anybody um hopefully i've got them all now let's just make sure i check this because i just saw some more pictures just came in just as i did that remove come on now sorry it's taken me so long i'll be quick i'm being quick and then we can show everybody's yes there was i did miss a couple um great there we go so let's have a look at vicky allison she's got a thingy as well um so vicky allison says here is my thingy which is also extendable well it's always good to have a thingy that extends uh you know nobody wants a short thingy um but yes that is vicky's one just there um uh let's have a look at our next little picture here is that going to change pictures yes here we go doreen kirk wow you have been do busy doreen doreen has made our wreath already yesterday's wreath she finished it um and there's one that she designed a few years ago Ours was much, much quicker than that one, but that looks spectacular there. Um, great job there to Doreen, who's just sent in those pictures. They look fantastic. Um, let's see. Where's the next one? Uh, next picture. There we go. Doreen has also sent us this one. Uh, her make from today. She knotted this bracelet this morning using Jermaine's method, and she absolutely loves it. Uh that is looking fantastic there great job to doreen and you can see all of her knots are absolutely perfect so they're working flawlessly there um great job uh doreen they look spectacular um that little piece and those beads are perfect and i really like that clasp wow doris this is fantastic she said this one's for andrew and matthew i made this as a present for my friend the vicar wow that is spectacular doris there has clearly spent a lot of time she's made a beautiful beaded rivoli there there's twins there's seed beads that looks absolutely amazing there doris great work i absolutely love it um thank you for sending us in that picture there for your vicar the the colors are lovely the silvers there um all very very beautiful um helen dunk as well she's bought some of oh right she bought our triple a grade freshwater pearls my lovely triple a grade freshwater pearls arrived and i couldn't wait to knot them she bought those just on the website uh just the other day triple a grade pearls that we have um and she said i couldn't wait to knot them using your method from the recent tutorial i love them i've attached a picture for you to see they are absolutely gorgeous um and she's also used that fantastic little clasp there the little love heart clasp but great job there helen that looks absolutely gorgeous beautiful work um i love it great job there helen um lots of people sending in their their knotted things it seems um 
Kaylee Honor as well. She said, I'd like to show what I've made recently. The bottom two pictures are of a purse. Wow, a purse I used, Mayuki Delica beads, and added a zip. It took at least 60 hours to make. Wow, that's dedication to the task there from Kaylee. 60 hours. Um, top left is a pair of mini star earrings. Very, very cute. I love, love those. Um, and the top right is a ball I made. It could be based uh, as a Christmas tree decoration. I love it. That's fantastic. Um, looks great there. Uh... Uh, from from Kaylee. I love all three of those designs and that purse. Wow, 60 hours, my goodness. Um, Kill, uh, Kim, Kim Wilmer. I, I, I just mixed your name. Kill, Kill Milmer. No, Kim Wilmer. Uh, she said, my take on the cosmetop... Co oh my goodness, I can't speak for the life of me today. Cosmopolitan bracelet. She absolutely loves them. That's one of our little bracelet designs. She's clearly used lots of beautiful colors there and made a gorgeous little rainbow design. Such a nice little design. Looks fantastic. Uh, that's her take on our cosmopolitan bracelet. So great job there to Kim as well. Um, Marla. She's also made one of our little... Um, beaded wreaths there which do you know what Jermaine completely forgot to tell you all yesterday that the the leaves all of our leaves as of yesterday are available on the website so if you didn't see those uh, head over to our website and take a look because you can get all of our leaves um, available I think there's about 11 or 12 different colors of leaf beads they're gorgeous though um, so many of them uh, they just look spectacular and they're perfect for wreaths. So again, there's our holly wreath. She said, the Christmas wreath I made after watching Jermaine's live video this yesterday afternoon. She added a red ribbon as well um, to, to sort of really, I think that really does sort of pop it off and make it look fantastic. It looks great. Um, let's see. Uh, the other picture is of a bracelet I made using bobbin lace techniques which included beads. Wow, that looks fantastic as well. I love that one. Um, that must have taken so much time as well, I would think. Uh, but yeah, looks great there. Thank you to Marla. Oh, and we also have Mary Kay Carlson. She said, thank you so much for the Ruth, Gator Bin uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg collar. I'm happy the way it turned out and completely followed your tutorial to do it. I wrapped a three inch styrofoam ball in black satin. Um, that that was my very first attempt at beading. Wow, her very, very first attempt at beading with Jermaine's tutorial and she's made the Ruth Bader Ginsburg collar and turned it into the Rafe, Ruth, Bu, Ruth Bauble Ginsburg uh, bauble cover, maybe. Terrible joke. Uh, probably shouldn't have said it, but doesn't matter. Uh, great job there to Mary Kay. That looks fantastic. Uh, Purple Penny. Wow, I'm going to have to make this one a little bit bigger so I can actually see what that one says. It says, a few weeks ago you showed the Starburst Rivoli bracelet. I wanted to make a necklace, but with a larger Rivoli at the center, I worked out a pattern to maintain six points like the original pattern. But now I'm in a quandary. I like the point to be at the bottom, so the joining points have to be right next to each other at the top, with one point shared between two joins. To sit nicer, it would be better to have a gap between the join points, but then there are two points at the bottom instead of one. Well, um, I think you might need to do maybe seven. Maybe try doing seven. Maybe that would work better for you um, if you do seven little ones you might have to adapt the pattern a little but maybe if you try and did seven it might work maybe um an odd number of points i think yeah maybe that's that might be best um there we go sharon as well uh she sent in some pictures still working on tree ornaments for friends and family loads left to do lots of stars there um she's got a bauble up the top they look fantastic great job there to sharon as well um, I have a feeling I have one other photo that I need to show. Let's just see if I can find it. I just believe it's just come through. Let's see if it's there. Add a photo. No, it doesn't seem to have come through yet. I think it's... Uh, no, I think that's going to have to be everything for today. Um, but yes, I think the camera's back working properly now too. Uh, yeah, so we've got lots on next week. Again, we're going to be doing three 
tutorials. So Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, same time as this one. So in the UK, that is 3 p.m. Um, and then across the UK, that's nice and early in the morning. I have a feeling it's probably a bit late for our friends over towards the eastern side of the world, you know, Asian countries and, and Australia, New Zealand. I think it might be a little bit late there. Uh, maybe you guys will be catching this on demand a bit later. But yeah, um, lots, lots coming up. We've got, we've got so much coming up uh, over the next few weeks in the run up to Christmas. So we'll definitely be here to keep you entertained. Lots going on. Um, Jermaine will be doing some, I'll be doing most of them I would think, uh, now that I'm feeling much much better. Um, but yeah, so I hope you'll all be able to join me. Don't forget, um, oh right, so in New York that will be 10am apparently. Uh, so 3pm here in the UK is 10am in New York and then you just sort of work across. Uh, is it is it 10am in, in New York? I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so one last little recap. You've got until Wednesday, uh, so I will remind you again for the sales. So if we have a quick look on uh, this one just here, the beaded lace netting kit, which is this little picture just here. Uh, this is the teal color. There's also the silver color as well, which is brand new. The pink is gorgeous, which is what Jermaine demonstrated on Wednesday. And there is also the blue. Um, if you want to get that, that is available. It's still on sale, so don't miss out. Um, yesterday, we did the... Um, whoops, what am I doing here? There we go. We did the DIY Christmas Holly Wreath. That's what we did yesterday. So again, you've got um, beautiful beaded leaves. Again, they're all on the website now, but you can... There is a link in the description that says view previous shows and that will take you to the place where you can see all of these products um it's there in the description um there's the 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 christmas tree decoration you can see it's about two and a half inches six six centimeters across or so um there's the autumn tones which was what jermaine demonstrated with which i love and then this one there's the holly and this one is my personal favorite the berry you 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 almost can't see how nice the beads are in that image the the pale ones have this beautiful swirling of like a an almost corally ambery color and then the darker ones as well also have like a it's called hurricane swirl um, of, of like a transparent parent color and also the the opaque color um, now lastly there's like a detail shot where you can kind of see it um, but yeah there's the autumn as well now let's have a little look what have I done today here we go so today's tutorial as I said how to design with twin beads this is on sale oh the the, the Christmas wreath by the way that is 10% off all, all three of them for 25 pounds or bargain if you want to get all three um, it's of the of the Christmas wreaths, all three colors of this. Uh, it's only twenty five pounds, so big, big, big savings uh, on that one. Um, otherwise, they're all um, on discount individually as well. Much like how we've done our twin one, where you've got um, ten percent off any twin kit, or you can get all three double discount, twenty percent off. So, like I said, you've got. Um, this is the the little pendant that Jermaine made, which I showed you. That's from the copper colorway. Um, this is the purple, the star that I've made from the purple set. Uh, the purple earring is there as well. Um, this is from the copper again. The 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 bracelet there. That's also included. That's what the purple looks like. That's what the arctic blue looks like. Here is the copper as well. Um, and then there you go. As you can see, as a bracelet. You, there's the blue. There we go. There's something from the blue. The gorgeous little pendant that you can make there or you can do it as earrings whichever way um, but yeah lots and lots of things that you will learn to make inside each one um, and you can sort of mix and match and play with them all and there's, there's so much that you can do uh, but yeah so that is pretty much all going to be the sales that are going on for this current week so if you want to check them out make sure you have a look at each one if you missed previous videos you can always go back and sign up don't forget as well, now that we're coming to the end of this video, feel free to share it, um, you know, sort of let everyone know about this little video to this tutorial. Um, if you are on YouTube, it should be just here. There's a little red button. We're pressing our way ever so close to 
20,000 subscribers. That's right, you heard it right. 20,000, I can't believe it, it's amazing. We've gone up um, nearly 10,000 since we started doing these, these tutorials with you guys. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Make sure you click the bell for notifications as well so you know when we're going live. Um, same on Facebook make sure that you press the button so that you get notified. Like our page, like the video, share it, all of those sorts of things. Uh, we appreciate it, you know, every time because we put a lot of hard work into making these videos just fantastic for you. And I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, I am off to have a bit of a bit of a restful weekend. It's been a long week, hasn't it? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a lovely time. Uh, resting and just sort of watching some Formula One and having a lovely old weekend. So I'll see you all on Wednesday next week. As I said, the tutorials are 3 p.m. every 3 p.m. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So definitely make sure you come and join me uh, or Jermaine, depending who it's going to be, because we've got lots of fun things coming up, um, some new things coming too. Uh, but yeah, thank you very, very much for joining me. I will see you all next week um, for our for our little uh, set of tutorials that we have. Um, and then, yeah, we can we can sort of do all that and make things together and have lots of fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's show and I'll see you all next week. Bye bye.